How y'all doing out there? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, y'all can't hear the music playing in my head. So, uh, yeah, that's where I was at with the energy. Um, yeah, I'm going to start some daily vlogs. It might not be daily unless I got it like that. But, um, start some daily vlogs about, you know, me being high as hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Basically what it is, me getting high and having a, a sit down conversation with y'all. And, uh, see that's, and the, the thing is, is, I'm saying what I'm hearing the spirit say. That's what I'm going to say. That's what, that's the whole gist of the thing. I'm saying what the spirit say to me. So it's a spiritual high for me. And it's going to be a spiritual high for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all being uplifted, if not in spirit, but as knowledge go about the spirit. But, I mean, this this is all that's kind of, that's being handed to me and I'm relaying it. Now, I ain't, I'm saying what come between these two ears is coming, the information coming to me, and I'm just saying it. So, that's how my life been like that. It come in, I do it. It come in, I do it. Now, my recent debacle of uh, becoming homeless and everything, uh, that happened when I wouldn't, I, I was greedy to go gamble. I'm going to tell you that off the muscle because it's in my DNA. And um, I guess it's the greedy part because I was getting paid at my job. And when I gambled, I was winning. So I wanted, I, I, I got lost in, uh, going up there and just sitting there. I went up there in the daytime, got off from work, went up there and to, sat in the casino from when I got off from work till it was time for me to go back to work. Now that's crazy. You might have a problem. And yes, I'm driving this whole time while I'm talking. But, uh, And see, that's how I be getting places. I, I don't even remember the trip because I be talking and stuff. But um, this this high talking. Be high as hell driving. And I, I like, oh, this is what I was going to say in that other, other video I did about uh, being high versus uh, being intoxicated by uh, alcohol. So... To me, that alcohol running through your veins. And so it's going to affect what got veins in it, your body. Yo, it's going to affect you the least in your brain because, yeah, you got that big, big uh, shoot to the uh, uh, blood through, uh, uh, through your brain, but the the brain got the smaller blood vessels. So that's why when you a person get an aneurysm, that aneurysm uh, swells up and it, it that's when the uh, vein is huge. But any other time, it's real small. It's not much blood up there. But when you get drunk, that alcohol is in your bloodstream and more more blood is in the body parts and then in the brain you know what I'm saying and this coming from a person that ain't been in no books studying no biology so you take it like that I ain't sat down and looked through no books and saw all of this stuff. I'm telling you what's coming through these uh, 
uh, brain waves and I'm spilling it out my face because to me when I hear like that it's the truth to me because I'm hearing it it ain't like I'm making it up now I can generate a story in my mind but that's me I'm doing it but this this what I'm hearing it's like somebody sitting there talking to me. So when I hear it, I'm spitting it out. So I'm hearing it and I'm, I'm hearing it talk to me and I'm talking it to you or whoever I'm talking to. And this, sometimes that happened and I don't be on nothing. I don't I ain't smoke nothing. And I can hear the spirit say something, and I'm hitting it. It's it's fresh to me. <laughs> I have never heard it before, so it's fresh to me. When I hear it, I'm like shocked, because it's revelation to me. And if you hear anybody talking, and they don't get surprised about the information that's coming out, it's because they done thought that over and said it to you. When I say stuff like that, it surprised me. Because it's revelation to me. I never heard it like that. And you... Mm. Boy, boy, boy. That's what I'm talking about. That, that we be having you in a different plane. It's like it's opening up something that make you hear clear and when you see a person that's all in la la land and they just smoke some weed it's because their mind is wandering in the beauty of being high it's freedom in being high you are doing a out of body experience in your body you might be rolling around on the ground but your spirit is rolling through the hills and all kinds of stuff. You get to see stuff that you don't normally see while you you awake. Some people can see it while they're awake. If you in tune like that, you don't you don't got past your flesh. Man, that'll be an awesome thing to be walking with nothing, no uh, outside influence and and just be walking in the spirit. And I know that's possible. Just walk in the spirit. I done done that. I done did that. I was like, is that boy high? I said, no. They said, no, I don't say it. They say, no, he he like that all the time. He don't even smoke with no weed. Now I used to get high and I ain't smoke not nothing. And that's when I was, uh, into the church real heavy and I it wasn't about the church the man that started the church it wasn't no church the man started the church cause he saw me sitting there he, his daddy was a pastor a bishop so he gonna start a church and trying to wing off his daddy wing you know get away from his daddy so he can start his own ministry and profit off of whatever. You know how that is. But, um, because that's his money. You get it to him. So he can do what he want with it. I might need to start me a church. <laughs> Either way, uh, uh, I was on the spirit. I know I was on the spirit. Uh, walking, walking in the spirit. I know I was talking about that. Walking in the spirit. Dang, I lost train of thought. And when I say I lost train of thought, the information ain't coming in. So, dang, that thing is powerful, boy. It's like I'm, it's like I'm sobering up off the high. That's crazy. But I'm at work. <laughs> Finna go to work. But I, I like that. I'm not I'm not intoxicated. 
And yeah, I did just lose that train of thought, but I told you what the train of thought is, me hearing voices and, and conversation coming to me. And I say voices, but it be the same voice. I hear a voice. It don't be voices. But I do hear voices because I hear a bunch of stuff talking. But, uh, yeah, I do hear voices, but I know that voice different from, because it's knowledge. It's, it's, it's blessing me when I hear it. I know that voice. I'm talking about them. It's some other voices. I can. It's like I hear a radio station playing in my head sometimes. And and it ain't clear of what it's saying. It's just a bunch of noise. It's just constant, like, talking, talking, talking. Dang, that sounds almost in money. But it's it's like millions of conversations going on at once. And I could, I, it's like I'm hearing that all day. I literally hear that all day. But when that voice come through, dang, it's, it's just, it's so, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so crystal clear. You hear it like it's somebody standing in front of you. Like I'm talking to y'all, and ain't nothing behind me, no noise, no sound effects. That's how I hear that voice. But in the midst of, constant chatter I hear that voice coming through that's weird all that is like crowd noise it's still going on but you hear that voice and it's like it's almost like walking right beside oh my Jesus come on <laughs> see what I'm saying it's like walking that person walking beside you but everybody else in their own conversation around you Man, now that's what I call revelation. That's what I call revelation. Jesus walking beside you all the time. All the time. And he he speaks to you. He always there. He speaks to you to get you when you when you come to him. Oh my God. This oh my God. Now see that's revelation, man. When stuff be dropping, that, and see, I had lost that, and then it came right back. I was, then in other words, I jumped out the spirit, and I got lost on it. I mean, I I jumped out the spirit when I when I said, cause I couldn't hear. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, I couldn't hear the voice, and. I knew when I'm with him and he's talking to me, I'm in the spirit because that's all I hear. His voice coming through so clear. Then when I get out of spirit, I can't hear his voice. I'm just hearing like crowd noise. Mm -mm -mm. Lord of God. And just that quick, and like he came back. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say this type thing. That's all right, man. I love that. I love that, man. Mm-mm-mm. Now I'm sitting at work, and I know I'm supposed to be in there already, but I got time, you know what I'm saying? I got time, so I can sit out here about an hour if I want to. But whatever. I ain't going to do them like that. But um, because I'm supposed to be in I'm on the clock. I mean, I'm on the schedule, so I'm supposed to be in I'm going in there, get this little change, because... <sighs> It is what it is. In this world, you need some money. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no power in this world. You can have all the spiritual power in the world. You can be spiritual as you want to. But in this world, what's going to move help move the mountains that's in front of you is some cash. Now, you move any mountain in this world without having some cash, I want to see that. Because in the spirit realm, ain't no mountains. Come on with it. Ain't no mountains in the spirit world. In this world, it's mountains. Dang, boy, y'all better eat that.
Ain't no mountains in the spirit. Glory to God, man. You, God is so good, I'm telling you. And he's a real person. He loves to love on you. If you open up your heart to him, you got to open your heart to him. When I say open up your heart, open up your heart. Mm. That's a nugget to me and YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in.